Hey, how's it going? So I wanted to talk about mix bus compression. And what this is, is compression on your entire mix, not just on an individual track. And there are many reasons that you would want to do this, either at the beginning of your mix or at the end. The big thing with mix bus compression is no matter what DAW you're using, obviously you will have a stereo out track that will be the entire track uh, together, your entire summed track with all of your um, music together. Well, you can add a compressor to this if you want to, as I have here. Now, if you do this at the beginning of your mix, so when you sit down to mix, once you do your initial setups, your colors, get all your labels, all those kind of organizational things, some people like to put a compressor right on the mix because it adds some glue. It can just bring every individual instrument a little closer together and it doesn't have to be very heavy compression. It can be as much or as little as just 3 dB or so of compression, of, of reducing that. And what that can do is just glue things together and help give you a strong starting point. So if I were doing something like that for this mix right here, um, you know, I would go ahead and I could add my compressor here and I've turned it on. So I've just got a little compression going here and I would fiddle with that. And basically what my goal is, is to just take again about three or four dB off, nothing too crazy. And that would give me something to work with and just glue everything together a little bit. So if I were to hit my first chorus here and then listen to that. Notice how that just kind of squashes it, squishes it down a little bit, reduces the dynamic range and allows me to just have something that's a little closer together to work with and that can be very helpful in mixing. If you were to add it at the end of your mix, one of the advantages here is that you can have you already had all your changes and then if you put a compressor on top of it and you don't particularly like what you had, well you can just change it out for a different compressor or change your settings and very easily work with it. Whereas if you do it at the beginning of the mix, your compression that you have done here is going to be baked into this entire mix. Um, there's no way you're really going to be able to undo that work if you've been doing work with a compressor on your master bus the whole time. So it comes down to preference what you want to do. I do recommend you consider adding your compressor at the beginning. Um, because uh, for me that does help to have a little glue but I also recommend that if you don't want to do that at the very least try putting a compressor on your master on your stereo out on your master bus at the end and see if it can just add that little bit of glue that can really take a mix from almost done to completely finished and here's the great thing if you don't like it just take it off and then you can focus on your other tracks and, and work on it. But this is something that a lot of uh, people do and, and I think is a, is a great uh, a great way to uh, approach things. So consider adding a compressor to your mix bus. It compresses the entire mix, uh, all your instruments, just a little bit. Again, does not have to be very heavy. In fact, you don't want it to be too heavy because that can ruin things. But just a little bit can help great.